Bonnie LaCourse, the marketing manager for Stanton Chase Boston. With me today, I have Margaret Billy. Margaret is the new director for the Stanton Chase Boston team. Margaret, you are now officially part of a Boston team, but you are living in Connecticut. Tell me, how are things in CT today? Um, they are super rainy and it's been this way for the past couple of days. And I feel like the weather we get here is often really similar to whatever is happening in Boston. So I feel like, I, you know, you might be able to relate. Maybe I'm looking out the window as I say this. <laughs> so yeah, it's been just, a, it's been a very April showers ish April so far, um, for sure, weather wise. I absolutely share your struggle with the rain. The April showers are definitely here. <laughs> but like I said before, you are the newest member to the Stanton Chase Boston team. You've been working with us for roughly a week at this point. I personally am anxious to hear about your first impressions, your first thoughts. Yeah. So I can react to working specifically with our team in Boston. It's been a really great onboarding experience. You know, I, everyone has been incredibly gracious and incredibly helpful and welcoming. You in the interview process had given me a really good overview of the culture of the team. And you said, and I remember this, you know, well, we let, we laugh a lot and we like to have fun and we work very hard too. And I can say that that's absolutely so far been my experience with the team. It's really refreshing to come into a work environment where a team is clearly high performing and really cohesive and genuinely enjoy each other's company. It's, it's really, it's really neat and it's really fun. And as a new hire, it makes you just feel really good about your decision. So very, very great impressions. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. I'm very happy to hear all of that. And yes. you, but you've come to us though with a, a fair amount of experience to say the least. Tell us a little bit more about your experience prior to joining the team. Sure. So I spent about 20 years in corporate HR. I way back when got my master's from Cornell in industrial and labor relations and started my career journey and corporate journey then, but I was fortunate enough to work across a number of different sectors and different um, kinds of businesses. And so really got my feet wet and learning, you know, life sciences and pharmaceuticals, medical devices, spent time there, spent time with financial services, spent time in construction, and also in consumer and packaged goods manufacturing. In 2016, I decided that I wanted to try something totally different and I left corporate and ended up um, going to the Hudson Institute for Coaching out in California, became a certified coach, executive coach, and launched my own coach practice and additionally also started partnering with HR consulting firms and ultimately also executive search. Probably about six to nine months ago, I started doing some career soul searching. And as a person who does a lot of coaching, I was like, you know, I really should try this on myself, right? Because I was starting to feel something changing in me around what were my interests at this point in my career, knowing that I'm going to be working for at least another 10 years, more likely, you know, 15, maybe 20. What's this next phase look like for me? Does it look like what I've still been doing or does it look like something new? And I discovered in this discussion with myself and a lot of networking with other people that I really wanted to go back inside to an organization again. I didn't necessarily want to go into, into corporate America again, but I deeply missed working with a team and I missed the collaboration, the camaraderie, the resources, everything that goes along with that. You know, it became really clear that I was either going to go into do something with coaching or with something with executive search. You and I met and we started talking and it felt like the stars were aligning in kind of this beautiful way where my career path and Stanton Chase kind of met up with each other really beautifully. And that's how I got there. <laughs> no, and I, I love that story. And it, with it, that experience that you bring to the table here. What kind of impact are you planning to bring it not only to the Stanton Chase Boston team, but to the more global Stanton Chase family? Yeah, so uh, I hope I hope it's in a couple of areas. You know, I do have this expertise in, in these in these different industries. But in addition to that, 
I also have a really strong background, as we already know, I talked about an executive coaching, but also an assessment. And one of the things that I've learned as I've been talking with folks within Stanton Chase is that we have kind of an emerging group of people that are maybe newer to the organization that have this expertise. And so I would really love to be part of the the discussion and the journey and the story really where this set of skills augments what we already do really well, which is executive search. You know, how do we bring things like assessment and executive coaching potentially? We already do consulting in certain markets. How do we maybe do more? How do we bring that to market and really continue to position ourselves as this firm of excellence that also has these really incredible additional offerings? You know, Margaret, I've heard through the grapevine that you consider yourself to be a little bit of an amateur artist. Ah. (laughs) You know, for my own personal sake, my own personal interest, I'm very curious to know when we can see a Margaret Billy original in the local gallery. Oh, wow. I don't know about that. Um, Let's see. Well, I can definitely send you guys some pictures of things I've done. If you'd like that, I'm more than happy to. Um, Yeah. Quick, quick thing, you know, about this, I guess I actually almost went to art school for undergrad and had a pretty strong push in the fine arts field early on in my life. And then quickly discovered that I that I had interest in a lot of areas and, and I loved art, but that I wanted a, a more liberal arts education. And so didn't go that route, but it's kind of stayed there all along. And so every couple of years or so it evolves in some new way. And right now it's illustration, but a couple of years ago it was photography. And before that it was cartooning. And so it just kind of continues to sort of evolve, like whatever I'm into at that point in time, I just kind of do for fun. So yeah, I'm be happy to show you something at some point. <laughs> I don't know how good I it is. <laughs> I can't wait at all. Oh, Margaret, thank you so much for taking time out of your day today to speak with me and to show everybody a little bit about what you've been able to do, both at your time at Stanton Chase over the past week or so, prior to Stanton Chase, but more importantly about you. Mm-hmm.